this is the Shark Slider Mini from iFootage. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at IBC 2018 at iFootage. I'm here with Ian. Hi, Ian. How are you? Hi, very well. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Actually, we're here because we missed this product at NEB, to be honest. Uh, everybody was, was raving about it, and usually we try to get our news videos as newsy as possible, but that one we really missed, and it seems like a really cool product. So can you run us through the features I'll of the Shark very best. Slider Mini? Thank you for allowing us a chance to, for you to catch up with us. Um, based on the success of our Shark Slider, which is the larger version of this, we had a lot of people commenting saying, you can use something more, more portable, more lightweight and easier to use. So we came up with the Shark Slider Mini. Um, it's beltless, it's completely modular, so you can just add literally as much track as you like. As you can see it has a carriage here and it's using our unique flywheel. So be, because you said you can extend it as much as you like, these are two pieces now, yes, right? here we have two. I can disassemble it and show you. It's mm -hmm. so really easy to attach and then reassemble. And then you get uh, the carriage, which has our unique flywheel, which is what gives it that sputtery smooth movement. So when you let go, it would actually still yep. do a little bit Carry of... On. Yeah, obviously with the weight of uh, a head and a camera, it would travel further under normal circumstances, but we're demoing this without uh, the equipment on it. Um, it can be used at various angles, so we could we could film at, at, use it at 45 degrees. You can also um, go step it up and then add uh, the second axis to it, so you could use the X2 Mini, which will give you uh, the, the tilt and pan that you require. And you could also add uh, a th the third axis, which would be the uh, the actual slide itself. So it's completely modular in terms of how you build it. You that that would be the remote control system too, too over here. Let's, yeah. Yeah. Let's move over here. So here we have the X2 Mini, which gives both tilt and pan. And then attached to the carriage itself, we have uh, the motor for the slide. This is all controlled. The interface for this is uh, an iPhone app produced mm -hmm. by ourselves. And also there's an Android app coming out at the end of this month. This gives full remote auto control uh, over tilt, pan and slide. It's, uh, you can preset the movements. Uh, you can do target control, AB, uh, photo stitching. Uh, time lapse, uh, animation, stop start animation, it's pretty much endless. But the main thing I think it offers any filmmaker is ultimate portability. All of this fits into a rucksack, so you can grab it and go. It weighs less than 10 kilograms, it's at a great price point as well, and it just gives you a whole set of tools which will add a whole new creative dimension to your filmmaking. Very cool, and I see you're just powering it with a power bank, so yep. it's no specific custom battery you need to use. Yep, it does. Have, we're doing this for the show. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I think it makes a lot of sense because, you know, like we have a drawer with a million batteries at the office. Exactly. Yeah. When we're out filming, we, we tend to use a power bank for it, particularly if we're doing time lapse because we don't want it to stop. But it does have its own internal batteries, uh, which are the same batteries used in Sony cameras, which will give a runtime of about two hours. Mm -hmm but we're running it for 10 hours today. So. What's the maximum payload on this remote head? It's called the X2, X2 Mini? X2 Mini. Uh, payload for this head, the, the X2 Mini, is 1.5 kilograms, but we had quite a few people coming back to us and saying, how can we increase the payload? So we added an accessory, which is an L bracket, which fits to the side here, and it lowers the center of gravity of the camera, which allows for a payload of three kilograms. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, it basically works with any mirror less than, easily. Yes. As long as you set it up and balance it, because it, it, obviously it's partially dependent on the length and weight of the lens you're using, but just balance the, ca the camera carefully so that when it returns on the tilt, it's not straining the motor. Yeah. Very cool. Um, can you tell us pricing and availability of all yeah. the products? For the, the basic manual uh, slider, it's about 400 euros. And for the full slider package, uh, about the 13, 1400 uh, euro mark. It's available from all our major distributors, including B&H and CVP, and also available on our US uh, online shop. Great. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to checking this out further. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to uh, cinema5d.com for all news from IBC 2018. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel.